Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Groom. Today I will be grooming Luna. She is actually in one of my first videos where she got her first kitten bath. Unfortunately, today I'm going to have to shave her at the owner's request as she's become quite matted. But first, I think I'll remove the switch blades from her paws. I'll pin a link to her first grooming video in the comments below. Luna has never been shaved before, so I'm going to turn on my clippers and run them over her body to see how she reacts and to show her it won't hurt her. I'm going to use a number seven blade on her today, which I don't recommend unless you've had a lot of experience shaving cats. Her mats aren't too terrible, and I'd like to leave a little fur on her. So far, she's doing great. Hopefully we can get through all of this without any injuries to either of us. There's a lot of areas on a cat that can be cut easily. The armpits, the part on the front legs, the nipples, on her belly, the sanitary area, basically everywhere. When I'm shaving a cat, I skim over the hair without putting too much pressure against her skin to make it easier to see where I'm cutting as all that hair and the mats make it quite difficult and frankly scary. Cat's skin isn't attached to their muscle tissue or their body, so it can be moved all over. To get to a difficult area, I move the cat's skin over to shave it. it makes it much easier instead of trying to get underneath some folded armpit or back leg area. So I did have to switch to my number 10 blade to shave her armpits, belly, sanitary, and her tail, as the number seven was just too dangerous to shave those areas. On this cat, she's a very tiny little girl, as she's about eight months old, and because of this, there's a much higher chance I'll cut her with that blade. Even with a number 10, I still had to be very careful. After washing her a couple times with our degreaser, I'm going to scrub her down with our plum whitening shampoo. Luna is taking this like a champ. Such a sweet girl, I think she just wants to be held. After thoroughly rinsing poor little Luna, who's really trying to escape this horrible wet spring monster, I towel dry her off, put a little happy hoodie on her to keep her calm, while we do the final part of what I'm sure little Luna would tell her kitty friends was torture. Using our lower velocity dryer, we're going to get this beautiful, wonderfully behaved kitten ready for the final journey in her road to freedom from the real torture of the itching, pulling, hot, and annoying matted prison she was in. She also hated the happy hoodie as she pulled it off after I stuck it on multiple times. Luna, this is the final stretch to going home. I'm using my number seven blade again to go over some spots that are uneven while skimming over all the scary can be cut easily areas. If you do like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing grooming videos where some are funny, some are educational, but mostly to see the cute animals.
right here is a perfect example of areas that are very delicate and caution should always be taken when shaving. That skin on the back leg area up there is very thin. And then when going up to the front leg underneath the armpits is the same. Right here is where I just skim a little at a time just so I can see where I'm at and what's going on with the skin underneath the fur. Now that she is nice and smooth and looking good, we're gonna fix up her lion tail and then I'm going to take my slicker brush and my metal comb and comb out the little puff at the end. Then I'm going to comb out her face and use my curved scissors to trim it up nice and round and then my curved thinning shears to even it up a bit. Last, I'm going to use my tiny little clippers to shave her little kitty paws and then Luna will be ready to go. Now she finally gets the cuddles she so much deserves. Luna was such an amazing kitty today. We're going to let her explore a little while, see how she does. She seems very, very scared still. So we're gonna get her in her kennel and get her going home. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on The Daily Groom.